Travels of Levi, Friends and Food. Hey guys, it's Travels with Levi and welcome back to another episode of Food and Friends. And today we have Jenny. Hi. Jenny Codwell is a good friend of ours. We've known her for a really long time. She's a visual artist and likes to create three-dimensional pieces. She shows her artwork in galleries all over. We own one of her pieces and I love it. Jenny paints large-scale murals and also plays guitar and sings in a band. Her band, Bad Cop, Bad Cop, travels all over the world. When she's home, Jenny works at a candy shop called Bee Candy. She makes beautiful cakes and cookies and her friends love her. We love you, Jenny! Jenny is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And we're super excited to have her at our house. And this is Koozie. <laughs> Hi! Koozie is Jenny's sidekick. Today we're going to be making some dog cookies for her. Here, come on. Just gonna go help out. Alright, so can you tell us about the story of Koozie? Yes. Um, Koozie is my adorable dog, and I met her outside band practice a few, five summers ago. It was a heat wave, and we practiced down by the port of Los Angeles, so it's like a pretty dangerous place to be a little critter. And um, we had gone outside for a break. I didn't even know she was a dog at first. She was all dried up and huddled up in a donut shape against this like pile of dead leaves against a fence. And it was like, that's a dog. And everybody in my band is like obsessed with dogs. And I had been looking at rescue sites pretty hard <laughs> leading up to this, you know, planning to get a dog. Um, but I think I probably am a little too cautious to have actually gone to the shelter and gotten the real dog. So she came to me. We said, practice is over. I'm taking this dog home. She is mine. And I have had her ever since. <laughs> so what do you like most about baking and making food? Ooh, eating it when it's over. <laughs> Sharing it with friends. There's a lot to love, you know. It's fun. It yeah. smells good. Um, tastes good too. Yeah, it tastes good. It's like a creative project that doesn't make a, doesn't sit around. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I feel like it's a really good gift for people. That, you know, then it's not like find somewhere to put this. It's like let's just eat this together. Yeah. And then it goes away. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then you can recreate it. Over yes, over absolutely. There's opportunity for re repetition and changing recipes. And so, what has been your favorite thing to make? Ooh. Um. Well, I work at a really fun bakery, and my favorite thing there is making large, crazy cakes, you know? What's it like to work at Bay Candy? Candy? Ooh, yeah. it's so fun. It's so fun. What do you think is the most creative thing that you've made for Bee Candy? Besides the Willy Wonka cake. The Willy, that's yeah, I know. Great. That's pretty crazy. We, so my, my co-baker is amazing, and she has a lifetime of creative baking experience, and like, I'm just gonna try this. So we've been working together to come up with like different styles of these mini cakes. The best one we did that we're both really proud of is we found this like sea salt caramel cake recipe. So that's like, Ooh. it's filled, it's so good. It's, first of all, it's the tastiest cake I've ever had in my life because there's a lot of like salt and butter and brown sugar in it, yeah. which is normally reserved for cookies, but it's in the cake and it smells amazing. Um, so we're making these little cakes that um, it looks like the like island oasis emojis, like a beach with like water on the outside and then like a little cocktail umbrella. Um, it's pretty cute and they're so tasty. Mm. So I think that's, that's cool. That's our best one. <laughs> What's the most unique flavor that you have ever seen or worked with? Ooh, hmm. We were in Pismo Beach and I had, they had Earl Grey with tea cookie ice cream and it was like, yes, that's what I looked like when I ate it. It was so good. I came home and I told our ice cream maker, can we do this? Like, and it was like, he did it a couple times and I wouldn't even let him put it out in the case. I was like, this stays in the back for yeah. me to eat. <laughs> like, this is too good. For today's recipe, you're going to need creamy peanut butter, flour, rolled oats, eggs, parsley, and bananas. Measurements are listed below. All right, so with the bananas, you need three bananas? Yeah, you want them to be really ripe. So this is with any kind of baking 
like banana bread or any type of cake or even if you're making an ice cream. Um, the riper the banana, the sweeter it is. A lot of cooking actually comes from like making use of things before it goes totally bad. So yeah. if you buy bananas to like eat in your cereal or carry around with you, you want like the kind of green ones, so you have like a day or two. Um, I bought these like five days ago and they're perfect. So that's like um, a no waste situation if you have some old bananas, yes. bake with them. <laughs> You're also gonna need some Oats, we use Quaker, and our peanut butter is in the fridge. Our peanut butter. Yes. And since we also need flour, we are just using regular flour, but if your dog is sensitive, you can also <laughs> use, I think, any other kind of flour. Yeah, right? pretty much any other flour. I actually also make Koozie's dog food because I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> I found her, so she, I think she ate some wild things when she was young. Um, and that did some stomach damage. Um, so I did a lot of research with like what she could keep down and would eat um, and that's how her recipes kind of came about. So if you have a dog that has specific allergies and you know this, like obviously you can tailor recipes to them. There's like a few rules of what they can't eat generally. Your dog is different. What do you do when you know what this is, huh? <laughs> a lot of baking is science, but this is like a... Not very scientific recipe. <laughs> I love cracking eggs. Me too. So something kind of useful if you're baking anything is like if you need to crack a bunch of eggs, always do them separately into a bowl of just eggs because it's easier to fish out any shells. <laughs> or mix the eggs. Yeah. When I was younger, my dad used to make scrambled eggs on the weekends mm -hmm. sometimes, and I would always want to mix it everything. Yeah, it's the funnest part. What's yeah. daddy doing? Cracking the eggs. Now that we have our ingredients prepped, it's time to start mixing. We'll talk you through it. The first thing we're going to do is mash up these bananas, which is super fun. I brought my masher. Cool. I've um, never mashed bananas before. So it's very so fun. Huh? These are super ripe, like their little heads were coming off on the way here. So you can put these cookies in the freezer too when you're done, obviously. Cool. It's kind of hard for a doggy to eat all of them if you're having like a dog birthday party or something. Okay, it looks pretty good. It's kind of tough to get this like totally homogenous and really it would be sort of a swirly if it was. But then what I like to do when I'm baking things is get all the wet ingredients kind of together first. We can do the eggs, we can also do the peanut butter. This is an imprecise measurement of three scoops. If your dog really likes peanut butter, you could do more. Get this sort of combined. Do you want to add in our parsley? So this is a half cup of parsley. I would recommend dry parsley for this. Parsley is really good for dogs because it freshens their breath. Fun fact. Let's get that flour. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, so this is getting to be a lot stiffer. Give that a feel and see what I mean. It's pretty much dough. Okay. Wait, we have a mini one. <laughs> yes. What you want with any kind of parchment is like you want to make sure it's not going to curl up. Folding things is a good way to get some structure in your paper. So the other option would be like putting weights on it, but it has to be something that you're comfortable baking. But when you do yours, just tear it so it's big enough to cover the whole thing and you have enough to kind of fold both long ends. Well, a little bit like a stencil. Yeah. <laughs> and then when cookies are sitting on it, it will be just fine. I'll show you a trick. When you're taking your scoop, you can kind of use the Flat. edge of the bowl. Yeah, oh, I just geez. got a bunch of flour. <laughs> you're no, right. scared. So keeping them kind of all the same size is gonna help when you're baking. So they bake even. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But again, dogs are um, pretty forgiving people yeah. to feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just happy if you give them food. Right. right. Yeah. There's a preheated oven. Yes. So you know it's time. I'm ready. 350. 350. 350 degrees. Yeah. Big ice cream treaters are way too big. Too, too big. Not. We had a great day and we could, but we have koozie. <laughs> <laughs> She's is small. Yeah, the head of a great day. Yes. Oh, Ben up and probably eat five at a time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, just put them in a bowl like cereal. Okay. See you guys soon. We 
put it in there for around 14 minutes and check them every seven minutes. And now we're gonna pull them out of the oven. Yes. Okay. So what we're looking for is golden brown delicious edges. And cookies. They look like yep. meatballs. <laughs> Completely cool is like the rule for things. I would say a few hours, just when they are room temperature, then you're good to go. Yeah. Well, I put them in Ziploc bags, like whatever I think I can use in like three to four days. Um, and then, so that kind of portioning is important, or actually these guys, you could put all together in one bag and just pull them out. Um, and then I usually throw them in the fridge. Then they have like a day or something to come up to temperature. Yeah. So we have like, hour to let them cool, what should we do? Since well, Jenny likes to give out the dog cookies as gifts, we're decorating some boxes to put them in. Yes. And they're approved by Cozy. This is just something fun and extra that you can do. We got the boxes at Michael's. You can get them anywhere. I think these guys go inside. It's like Ikea, but without the manual. This is awesome. <laughs> Dogs respond to our treats. Doggies! Dog, dog, dog. Cute little decorated box. What's inside? Cookies! Ooh, look at these! Ready? Kiss it! Gentle. Okay, good boy. Are you so happy, Scanny? What do you think, Betty? You love it? Okay, so. They wanted to try one of the cookies, and since I'm allergic to peanuts, I can't try one, but... Oh, it's made with peanut butter? It has yeah, peanut, butter, peanut in butter in it. The ingredients are on the bottom of my box. So the ingredients, just so you know, are oats, eggs, peanut butter, dried parsley, and flour. And what does it taste like? They're good. Are you gonna eat the whole thing, or should I share it with you? Oh, is that good, huh? Oh, banana. Yeah. Was banana on Yep, banana was banana? on the list. No. But it's not on the box. Oh, oops. <laughs> Whatever. Dude, this is good. It's really good. You Why guys is there are... parsley in it? Because oh, it makes the dog's breath smell better. Fun fact. But will it make dad's breath smell better? <laughs> How about these guys? How excited he is. Yeah. I'm going my butt won't stay now. I'm so excited. We had so much fun making dog cookies with Jenny. Jenny's dog cookies are really fun to make and easy to do. They make great gifts to share with your four-legged friends and your parents. If you want to follow Jenny or Bad Cop, Bad Cop, we've got their Instagrams linked down below. For more friends and food, like and subscribe. See you next time.